Hello my friends, in this tutorial we will learn how to create and allocate the budget for a specific year. In our data model we have the sales from 2017 to 2019 July and we want to create the budget for 2019 and to see the variance actual versus budget in 2019. So the final report of this tutorial will be this where we'll create the budget, allocate it on a monthly basis and calculate actual versus budget. In the next tutorial in this series we will also calculate the year to date difference. In this lesson we will have two examples, a fixed budget where we already have a table with the budget for 2019 and a dynamic budget where we will create with the DAX formula. First let's see how we work with the fixed budget. The bottom line will be this report on a monthly basis and this on a weekly basis of budget allocation. Let's see first the data model. So we have the sales table, the customers, the calendar table and the products. This is from AdventureWorks example database from Microsoft and the territory table. Uh, and we have a fixed budget Let's see the table. This is the fixed budget that we have. So we have it allocated only on countries, okay, for year 2019. Due to the fact that we have it on country, we have a different granularity versus the sales table. So we need a bridge table which is only the distinct countries and with this we link it we link the budget table with the territory table okay the key being the country so first we will create a measure in the sales table total sales and uh, also we will create a measure in the table budget the budget amount, okay, sum of total budget. And we have these two measures here, total sales and total budget. We see that for 2019, because we have the filter on 2019, we have a total sales of 9.7 million and the total budget is 18 million. Here, we don't have it allocated on a monthly basis. That's why in each month we have the same amount, 18 million. This budget allocation column will be created with a DAX measure. The formula is very simple. We first create two variables, number of days in year and number of days in context. And then we just divide these two and multiply with the budget amount. So why we have two variables? First, the number of days in year. This variable checks how many days in the, is in that specific year in the context, because you saw we have a filter of 2019. But if we change it, we will have a different number of days in that year. So, calculate, count rows of the calendar table, then with all we remove any filter from the context and then with the values we just filter on the calendar year to remain only the filter on the year. So here if we have 2019 we will have 365 days. Okay then we have the variable number of days in context count rows of calendar. What this means? This means that in this uh, table if we put the row context of month, it will be cal calculated on the month. But here, if we put it on week, it will be calculated on the week. That's why we have it number of days in context. So the budget allocation formula is returning number of days in context divided by number of days in year and multiplied by budget. Okay, and when we put it here in the table, we have the correct allocation either on month or on week. We can either 
put here the days and let's uh, do it right now if we put the days so we remove the week number and we put the date So we see here, because the budget is only for 2019, if we drill down on a day level, it is allocated on a day level. And also on the quarter, on the month and so on. So this is the first method when we have a fixed budget. The next method it is to allocate dynamically the budget. So let's see, we have the sales in 2018. 2019 we have only July and now we want to budget 2019 but based on 2018. Let's see, let's say that we want to have the budget of uh, 2019 with 15% over 2018. How do we do this? We will create a new table with a new table formula that uses the add columns function okay we cross join the product key and the calendar date so the budget will be made both on product key and both of a day, day level okay so the formula is like this add columns cross join these two okay and then add the 2019 budget column name that will be calculate total sales okay total sales will be in the context with the filter calendar year 2018 multiplied by 1.15 so we want budget 2019 to be 15% over 2018 so we have this table with product key date and 2019 budget not all the product key has uh, values okay so this is our budget allocated on a day level now we have to create a new measure budget 2019 that will be the sum of the new column created 2019 budget we also want to bring to bring the previous year sales so 2018 we uh, use the following formula it will be previous year sales it calculate total sale and we will use date add date add calendar date minus one year to bring back the previous year having the filter 2019 previous years will be 2018 okay 9.7 million we go to the summary table okay 9.7 so we have 2018 total sales of 2019 until July budget allocation 2019 budget allocation 2019 column will be created in the same manner as in the fixed budget okay so we create again two variables number of days in year and number of days in context okay and then return their division multiply with budget 2019 that we have uh, created here as a measure so now you see that we have the correct allocation of the 2019 budget and then we just have to calculate actual versus budget is the difference between total sales and budget allocation 2019 in the next session of the budgeting with Power BI series, we will see how we can create the year to date difference, actual versus budget. I hope you like this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.